lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, I do want to let you guys know the way I'm uploading the videos is the ones the videos that have the most views or the most comments are the ones that are going to be uploaded sooner. So definitely so, uh, show some support to your sign by commenting, sharing, and liking the videos. Also, I want to apologize for my voice if it keeps uh, sounding a little bit more raspy than usual or if it comes and it goes. <laughs> um, it's been a very long day and my voice kind of goes out. So just apologizing, giving you guys a heads up. Um, also, if you guys are interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. Anything to do with spellcraft or anything to do with candle magic, you'll be able to find my email on there, uh, how we could communicate. So you could just message me through email. Um, also, if you guys are interested in private consultations, like I said, email, uh, and that's how we'll connect. So anyways, moving along, I want to give a big shout out to one of my greatest supporters, a uh, private client of mine. She's an amazing author, amazing woman, Diane Morasco. Uh, thank you, sweetheart. Uh, she sent me this uh, coffee mug that says Bruja, which in English means uh, witch. I am just in love with it. Thank you so much, sweetheart. She sent it to me for Hollow's Eve. Didn't even let me know. She just surprised me. Uh, it was amazing. So anyways, I highly encourage you guys to go check out uh, her books on Amazon. Uh, again, like I said, her name is Diane Morosco. Um, sending you love and light, sweetheart. So let's get into this reading. I was shuffling the cards uh, before I started recording and your first card came out already Pisces which is the six of pentacles I'm going to shuffle just so you guys know that I didn't prepare as I love showing my live shuffles okay so oh there you go <laughs> you see cards keep popping out for you guys okay so let's get into this reading let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of November 2017 Pisces spirit what are the messages for Pisces Pisces Spirit, what are the messages for Pisces? Pisces for the month of November 2017. Pisces, Pisces for the month of November 2017. Okay, so you have the Six of Pentacles here. The Two of Cups popped out. And this is going to be my last. Okay. So let's get into your reading, Pisces. You have the Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Five of Swords, the High Priestess, the Eight of Pentacles the Ten of Wands, the Five of Cups, I mean the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Star card, the Temperance card, the King of Wands, the Death card, the Moon card, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Wow, okay. So your general energies for the month of November 2017th Pisces is the Four of Pentacles. The poor, uh, the poor, <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay, let me gather my thoughts. <clears throat> my The Four of Pentacles is a representation of being very protective in regards to your love or being a little bit overprotected in regards to your finances. So for some of you guys, you guys may be dealing with a lot of finances issues. Um, you know, it could represent having... Uh, if you guys are usually uh, full time, as an example, you may notice that instead of uh, getting overtime or getting long hours, perhaps your days are becoming a little bit shorter. Um, it, there's lack of work, basically, with this four of pentacles. Um, and that's the reason why you've been, you know, very close uh, to your money. Again, like I said, it could have to do with having expenses that are unexpected as well. So, uh, be very careful about that and don't go overspending Pisces. Now you do have the six of pentacles here and the six of pentacles speaks about a give and take. Um, I feel that for you guys, even though you do have uh, pentacles cards, I feel that this is not really, I'm sensing more relationship wise is what's coming through. So the six of pentacles here is a representation of a give and take, um, but it is also speaking about um I feel it that it, I feel it that it's vibrating to the negative so it would be like the six of pentacles in reverse so what this represents is someone is taking advantage of someone else so this could be you that is usually the one to take and take or it could be you the one that's always giving giving in regards to relationships and in regards to um, 
romance. And the reason I say that is because the two of cups is right next to this six of pentacles. And again, like I said, the six of pentacles is coming off as if it were to show up in the reverse position. So the reverse position is all about um, not being fair, not having equality in the relationship. Uh, it's either you, Pisces, or your partner, the one that's always putting effort in the relationship. And um, next to the two of cups here, again, this is solely to do with relationships and romance. So um, the message here that I'm getting very clearly, uh, Pisces, stop doing the same mistake that you've done in the past or stop having the same behavior um, that you've had in the past is what I'm hearing. So what this could represent, it could mean that you or your partner have a I'm more more so focused on you Pisces and the reason I say that is because this is talking about a past behavior so I feel that for you Pisces um, you may if you look back to your previous relationships perhaps you'll come to the understanding that was it you the one that always gives you know your whole heart 100% into the relationship or is it the type or are you the Pisces that usually tends to attract uh, male or female that tends to put all pretty much put their heart on the line and you don't really necessarily have compassion or empathy for them um, because it's more so about it's my way or the highway. Now it is a general reading so it could be a representation of you or it could be that you that's the type of men or women that you attract. So with the Five of Swords here, it's right cutting towards the center. So the Five of Swords is all about an inner struggle, but it also speaks about arguments and miscommunication. And this miscommunication or arguments um, are ego-based. There's no fundamental to it. So if you feel that perhaps you've been fighting and arguing very often with your partner because they're not giving you time, because they're not putting effort, it's ego-based at this point because if they've done that for you know, the previous one, the, you know, previous uh, year ago, they've been doing that, then it's you the one that needs to face and understand that you're the issue, you're the problem, because you're allowing them to do that. Okay, the high priestess next to the five of swords speaks about uh, the high priestess is all about the all knowing. So whether you see it in a conscious way, or whether you see it in a subconscious way, the answer is there. Um, stop trying to communicate with other people what you're going through in regards to relationships so you can get different insight. I feel that you already know what it is you need to do. You just fear making movement or you fear walking away from this relationship. As the Eight of Pentacles is there, you're still wanting, you're still desiring to put effort into this relationship. Again, like I said, it's a general reading, so it could represent both you or it could represent the energies of your partner as well. Now, the Ten of Wands here is frustration, anxiety, um, having overburdened, being overburdened in regards to the five of pentacles, the five of pentacles, again, is a representation of being left out in the cold, being taken advantage of, or them cutting you off completely. If some of you Pisces have not had communication with the partner that you recently walked away from, or that they walked away from you, I feel that by the second week of November, there's going to be communication coming through as the eight of wands is here and the eight of wands does represent communication coming very quickly to you. Next to that is the star card and the star, the star card speaks about everything that is illuminated even in the dark. So if you've been in the dark about certain situations, it could even be that you find out your partner, if he's an Aries or a Leo, you may find out that they're dealing with a Sagittarius as the temperance card is here. Or you may find out that they're dealing with an Aquarius, a male or female. So again, the death card right under the star is like you're going to be illuminated. You're going to have clarity and you're going to have understanding. But you must not, um, you must not fight or resist the change as the death card always brings um endings but it also gives you new beginnings and I feel that for most of you guys if you guys recently have started dealing with an earth sign which would be a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo or if you recently started dealing with a Scorpio um, I feel that this person is a new person a new energy that's coming through and I feel that this person can give you the emotional stability that you're looking for that you've been wanting for quite a while as the nine of cups does promise you 
uh, not o- not only emotional fulfillment, but it's almost like the wish card. And next to the Knight of Cups here, right under the death, right under the ending of a relationship, moving forward, there is a new person coming through. Again, like I said, um, that is going to be able to fulfill you emotionally as well. So just know that and understand that. Now, if you look at the past position, all the past positions is nothing but strength, um, is nothing but obstacles. It's nothing but uh, being taken advantage of or doing the same type of behavior or attracting the same type of men that you usually attract or women um, that usually ends up leaving you in unbalanced. They end up um, keeping things from you, keeping things in the hidden or you tend to fall for uh, being that of a fling. And if this is something that you've been put in this position for quite a while, it's time to walk away from that. Um, I understand and I know that not a lot of people want, you know, monogamy. Not a lot of people want something long term and that's perfectly fine. The thing is that you go into it thinking that's fine. This is what I want. Then time goes on. You get emotionally attached. And then when they treat you the way you knew that you were going to be initially as a fling quote unquote that's when your feelings get hurt so Pisces you need to be careful with that also uh, if you guys are currently in a relationship and have been in a long-term relationship I see that a person from your past or a person that you knew not necessarily someone you dated it could have been a friend it could have been someone that you knew very uh very from afar it could have been a friend of a friend or something like that they will be speaking out they will be trying to reach out to you and letting you know that they're interested in you now what i do want to mention is again i do see earth sign coming in for pisces now for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while and you've been wanting to manifest um, a long-term relationship finally with the death card the ending of that uh, singlehood chapter is coming to an end okay the death card definitely speaks about a changing status so if you're single you're gonna go from single to being in a relationship if you've been dating someone for quite a while and this person has been uh, has reciprocated your love and your affection meaning if you don't fall under the spectrum of being taken advantage of or a person wasting your time and you actually see them putting effort uh finally the month of November into the third week, they might ask you to move in with them or to get married as again, the death card does symbolize new beginnings, um, but endings. And when it comes to relationship is definitely signifying changing status. So again, like I said, um, I hope this makes sense to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading, like share and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe and definitely put, um, like share and comment the videos so you guys can show support to your sign. So it could be one of the first ones to come up in the middle of the month. Okay. I will see you guys in November, the middle of November for love readings, blessings, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.